Do you know what the best version of you looks like? Just take a look in the mirror, the person that you were born to be and say, huh, I'm taking on the best. Every day is a new day to step it up. And maybe some days I feel like giving up. I just don't get it, but I can't forget that I'm a believer in the power of yet. I may not know it now, but I will. I will. Take a deep breath and I'm chill. Mistakes are part of the game. I embrace them. I don't run from my fears. I face them. How? I pay attention, I take charge of my learning Draw it out and work it out to show my journey Try until it clicks, make sure that it sticks Working at it constantly is my secret Practice is not something I do once I'm good It's the one thing I do that makes me good So I take another step, I'm obsessed with progress You know why? Why? I'm taking on the best! Hey world changers and welcome to another video lesson of taking on the best. My name is Miss McCarthy and I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you. And I'm so excited that I get to be your guide as we not only dive into Florida's best standards for fourth grade math, but just know that I'm also here to support you and encourage you every step of the way as you take on the best version of yourself. So without further ado, let's get into this video lesson and let me teach ya. In today's video lesson, we will practice representing data using a stem and leaf plot and also line plots. So grab your pencil, grab your workbook page, and let's get ready to take some notes. All right, so the directions say that Matthew tracks his scores on all of his math tests this year. So his math tests. The data he collected is shown below. Use the data in this table right here to create a stem and leaf plot and a line plot. We will create the stem and leaf plot right over here and the line plot will take place down there, okay? First things first, let's take a look at the table to see what his test scores were. So we have right here, we have the title, Matthew's math test scores. It's a great name for somebody who likes math, Matthew. Okay, this right here is the title of the table, okay? So we have Matthew's math test scores. It looks like he received an 85, 76, 75, 92, 94, 93, 87, and so on. These are all of his test scores. In fact, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 test scores in this table. The first thing that we're going to do is take the data from the table and place it onto a stem and leaf plot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do just that. First things first, I want you to pay attention down here to the key. This says that nine with a like a little slash sign of two. This slash represents the break right here. Nine slash two equals 90. Two. We're going to put the stem of our number in this. Really, in this case, it'll be the tens place. And then the leaf is going to be our ones place for this particular stem and leaf plot. And you might be saying, what do you even mean? That's okay, just keep going with me. For the stem though, we need to start in order. So what is the smallest 10 that you see? The smallest number in the tens place? Yeah, I see seven, right? We've got two sevens. We have 76 and 75, right? So we're going to place the stem, the digit in the tens place right there. That seven represents 70. And over in the leaf, we're going to list the ones that we see. We see five for 75 and we see six for 76. Let's go ahead and put like little check marks or something right there so we know that we've taken 75 and 76 and we've placed it onto our stem plot, okay? Do you see any more test scores that have a seven in the tens place? No, so let's move up to the next 10. The next 10 would be eight, right? So let's go in and I'm just gonna use a different color here just because, and let's find all the test scores that have an eight. We have 85. We have 87, 85, 80, and that's it. So we have four test scores that we need to place on the next line. So starting with our eight 
as the stem that stands for 80 and we need to make sure that we put these in order so the first one would be 80 right with a zero okay eight and zero equals 80. next we have 285 so guess what we're going to write five and five for 85 and then our we can check those off to 85 and 85 and our last one is 87 so we already have eight as the stem let's place seven as our leaf okay so just to review we have 75 76 80 85 85 and 87 that we've taken care of so far okay i'm going to change colors here to red we have a stem of seven for 70 we had a stem of eight for 80 and now we're moving up to the next stem which would be 90. so let's put a nine there we have 92 94 93 93 94 94 and 92 okay so we need to take the smallest number first we don't have 90 we don't have 91 but we do have 92 right we have 1 2 92 so let's put 92 comma 92 got those do we have any 93s yeah, how many? We have one, two, 93s. You know what I'm just noticing that I forgot to check off this 87 right there. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, we're back to 82, 93. So we had two 93s, 93, 93. And then for 94, we have one, two, three. So I'm running out of space, but I'm going to write four comma four comma four on this line. So it should say to review, we have 92, 92, 93, 93, 94, 94, 94. And our last stem is going to be 10, 10 tens, which is the same thing as being in the hundreds place. So we'll do this one in green, so write 10 there. And it looks like we only have this 10 right here, right? So we're just gonna put a one, a zero right there to stand for 10 and zero ones, so 100 there. And that is how you can take data from a table and place it onto a stem and leaf plot. So make sure that you have this one done. You're definitely going to need more practice with this. But make sure that you've taken down the notes so you can always refer back to this. And then let's take a look at how we can transfer the information onto a line plot. You know what? I forgot a very important piece before we move on and that is right here to place a title, okay? Even though we know that the title of all the information was Matthew's test scores, for the um, table, we also need to write it up here. So just write Matthew's math test scores, okay? For that one. Make sure that you have that copied. And then as we come down to our line plot, let's go ahead so we don't forget and put our title up here. Matthew's math test scores, there. All right, make sure you've got that. And when you're ready, let's get going. Now, the cool thing about a stem and leaf plot, once we've already completed a stem and leaf plot, it makes it easy for us to generate a line plot. A line plot has X's or dots that we put. Usually it's X's, but you might see it with dots sometimes too. Um, we're going to use X's in these videos. But what we're going to do is graph the same information using a line plot. So we'll place the scores here. We range from 70 to 100 right and then let's kind of cut this just like that and make this 80 and 90 so we have 70 80 90 and 100 go ahead and try to make those as evenly spaced out as you can and then when you're ready let's continue all right welcome back so now what we're going to do is place halfway points here okay so right here we would have 75 Halfway between 80 and 90 would be 85. 
and halfway between 90 and 100 would be 95. Okay. And we're doing this because our scores ranged in from in being in the 70s to being in the 100s. So we do have to put those ranges in there. And now watch what we're going to do. So we do need to have 71, 2, 3, 4, and then we have 75, 76, 7, 8, 9, and we have 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, and then we have 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and then we have 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, and then we have 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and then we have 100. All right, make sure that you have that. You should have it broken into tens with 10 little marks in between each one or a value of 10 in between each one, just like a number line, okay? Pause the video to make sure you have that recorded and then when you're ready, keep joining me, okay? Welcome back. So now we have our line plot. We have jumps of 10. We have 10 little marks to show our jumps of 10. Now is the easy part. Now we just have to take the information from the stem and leaf plot and place it onto our plan over here. So starting with the 70s, we have 75 and 76. So we have to find 75 on our line plot. Here's 75 and right over 75 I'm just going to place an X right there. Same thing for 76 which would be the very next one. Let's place an X right there. That shows that we've marked those two test scores onto our line plot. And you could do this with either the table that we have here with all the information or we can do this using the stem and leaf plot. Since we already have the information in the stem and leaf plot, it just makes it easier for us to graph it. For stems of 8 or 80, we have 80, 85, 85, 87. So 80, 2 for 85 because there's two 85 test scores and one for 87 because we have one 87 test score. Make sure that you have that and then let's keep going. Now we have our 90s right here. So we have two 92s. So we need to find 92. Here's 90. Pop two more over and we need how many X's? Two, right? 92, 92. We've got our 92s. We also have 93. How many 93 test scores do we have? Two, right? So find 93, 93, 93. Place two X's there. And then for 94, we have three test scores for 94. So 94, 94, 94. And then of course the last one is 100. So just go over to your 100 and check that out. And just to make sure we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen test scores, which is what we counted up over here too. So that is how you can take information from a table and create a stem and leaf plot and also a line plot. So go ahead and make sure that you have all of this copied and then let's close out this video lesson. Okay, world changers, I hope that the information in today's video lesson clicked for you and now it's time for you to make sure that it sticks. How do you do that? By taking charge of your learning because practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. So make sure that you are getting in that extra practice. Before we go, let me remind you that your only competition in life is with that person staring back at you in the mirror yourself. Stop comparing yourself to other people and just focus on being the best you that you can be. And that's what we're all about, right? Because we are taking on the best. All right, world changers, keep working hard and I will see you in a video lesson really soon, okay? Bye.